you sit back now and you look at where some of our cities are uh, and the role that some of the hip hop is playing in this. Right. How do you feel about that now? Now, when us OGs speak, let me make this clear. When we speak at above 40 to 70 years old, for all of us that's been here, I want everybody, the music industry, this current generation, we aren't mad at what they are doing. Okay. We are mad at what they're not doing. And what they're not doing is putting the issues that are destroying our communities on the forefront of their presentations as hip hop artists, meaning we need to get more positive, go to school, don't shoot, don't have sex, don't get drunk, don't be violent, don't disrespectful. Those type of records need to be the ones at the top of the radio station playlist because the MCs, these rapper guys are the idols. Yeah. It's not the politicians. It should be the parents, but in some cases it's not the parents. It's the people, the younger generation are listening to on these records. And if you want to validate an okay, killing each other, disrespecting our woman, not saying take the, <clears throat> not saying the op take the opportunity to go to school. So we're mad that they're not using this culture, some of the artists and the labels that sign them. If you made $500 million off a drill and negative and half naked women and oh, and the N word and stuff like that, you made $500 million off a community of people that are dying while that's going on. Take 50 million of that. Universal, Def Jam, Sony, all of you like take 50 million of all the money that you have made off of Get High, this tone is that and create a label where when those artists come to get signed, there's no cursing, no toll work. They can do it. Yeah. So we're not mad at what the industry, we're mad at what they're not doing because without our culture, you wouldn't have this success in the first place.